Hello. It's one of modern life's biggest leaps of faith. That daily ritual, a glass of water, a small capsule in your hand, the belief that you are buying protection, that you are strengthening your bones, bulletproofing your heart and securing more energy for your day. But what if I told you that for some of the world's most popular supplements, that faith might be a trap? That behind the shiny label, there's a silent process that could, in this very moment, be hardening your precious arteries like a cement? Today, we're not just going to list supplements, we're going to debunk the marketing and confront it with the cold hard science. This video is more than a tip, it's an act of protection for your heart. And the number one supplement on our list is the most ironic of all. It was crowned by the media as the longevity molecule, the fountain of youth in a pill. But the latest science reveals a dark truth. It might not only be failing to deliver on its promise, but actively sabotaging the benefits of your hard-earned exercise. The revelation is shocking. If you value truth over marketing, do one thing for me and for this channel. Smash that like button. Liking this video tells the YouTube algorithm that this is a life-saving information that needs to get out there. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell because what we're revealing here is just the beginning. And most importantly, think of someone you love who takes supplements. Send this video to them right now. That one gesture could be a total game changer for their health. Now tell me, what supplements have you taken that you thought was the best thing in the world? And what part of the US or the world are you watching from? Drop it in the comments below. Let's go. The fundamental difference, food versus pill. Think of your body as a highly sophisticated symphony orchestra led by a conductor with thousands of years of evolution. Well, you eat broccoli, the nutrient arrives slowly in harmony, the calcium comes with the magnesium and vitamin K, the violins enter with the cellos, the conductor knows exactly what to do with every single note. The pill, the pill is like a trumpet blast in the middle of a harp solo, a massive, isolated and artificial dose that the body has no idea how to conduct, the orchestra panics, and it's in this chaos that the danger lies. Let's start with our number five. Fifth supplements that attacks your arteries, the calcium. Calcium, synonymous with bones of steel. Decades of marketing have told us this. The number one defense against osteoporosis, the logic seems bulletproof. After all, bones are made of calcium. If they are weak, just add more calcium. Simple, right? Wrong. When you take a 500 milligram or a thousand milligram pill of pure calcium, you aren't nourishing your bones. You are creating a calcium tsunami in your blood. This sudden spike, what doctors call a bolus, completely overwhelms your body's regulatory system. The orchestra's conductor panics. It doesn't have enough magnesium and vitamin K2, which come along with it in food, to tell this calcium, hey, you're belonging in the bones. Without direction, the body starts to deposit this excess where it shouldn't. Its favorite spot, the smooth, delicate lining of your arteries, the coronary arteries of your heart. You are literally paving your blood vessels with the same material as stalactite. This is the calcium paradox. And it's not just me saying this. A giant meta-analysis published in the British Medical Journal in 2010 showed a 30% increased risk of heart attack in those who supplement with calcium. A South Korean study went even further. The risk shot up by almost 90%. And the definite proof came from the MISA study, multi-ethnic study of atherosclerosis, 
which followed thousands of people for 10 years. The conclusion was crystal clear. The highest total calcium intake from food was associated with a lower risk of artery calcification. The use of calcium supplements was associated with a higher risk. It's black and white. The solution isn't in the bottle. It's on your plate. Cheeses, yogurts, sardines, almonds, dark leafy greens like kale. Nature delivers calcium in the right package. Calcium supplementation is a serious medical intervention for specific cases of severe osteoporosis. And even then, a good doctor will prescribe it along with vitamin D3 and crucially vitamin K2 to make sure the calcium goes to the right place. It's not a casual drugstore purchase. Supplement number four directs your arteries. Iron, the double-edged sword. Feeling tired, no energy, brain fog. It must be an iron deficiency, anemia. It's the most common self-diagnosis out there. The promise is instant energy, restored vitality. But self-medicating here is incredibly dangerous. Iron is a mineral with a split personality. In the right amounts, it carries oxygen and gives us life. In excess, it becomes an agent of chaos. It becomes pro-oxidant. What does that mean? Imagine leaving a bike out in the rain. It rusts. The iron is literally reacting with oxygen and oxidizing. Now imagine that rusting process happening on a microscopic scale inside your liver, your pancreas, your heart muscle. Excess iron catalyzes a chemical reaction called phantom reaction, which generates the most dangerous free radicals that exist, hydroxyl radicals. They are like molecular graffiti, damaging everything they touch. The living proof of this danger is a genetic condition called hemochromatosis, where the body accumulates excess iron. These patients, if left untreated, develop cirrhosis, diabetes, and severe heart failure, all because of iron's oxidative damage. Supplementing when you don't need to is like inducing a mild slow motion version of this disease in yourself. Get a diagnosis first. This is non-negotiable. Ask your doctor to check your complete blood count, your ferritin, your transferrin saturation. If there is no diagnosed deficiency, focus on your diet, red meat, liver, and for vegetarians, beans, lentils, chickpeas, a golden root. Always combine plant-based iron sources with something rich in vitamin C, a squeeze of lemon on your salad, an orange for dessert. Vitamin C can increase the absorption of plant-based iron up to sixfold. Supplement number three that wrecks your arteries. Vitamin E, uh, the golden age of antioxidants. Vitamin E was the star of the show. I remember it. Cellular protection, youthful skin, a bulletproof heart, the ultimate antioxidant, the warrior that would defend us from aging. The problem, the reality was a dose of a nice cold bucket. First, vitamin E deficiency is so rare that most doctors will never see a case in their entire careers. Personally, I've never seen one and I see a lot of patients. Second, science discovered something fascinating. Exercise works because it creates a small controlled amount of oxidative stress. It's this stress that signals your body get stronger, get more efficient. Taking a mega dose of an antioxidant like synthetic vitamin E is like muscling that signal. You protect the cell so much that you prevent it from adapting and improving. But the worst part is the final blow. Most supplements contain only one form of vitamin E, alpha tocopherol. In nature, vitamin E is a family of eight compounds, four tocopherols and four tocotrienols. Flooding your body with just one synthetic form can actually decrease the absorption of the other more beneficial forms 
you get from food. There is no room for debate here. The Cochrane collaboration, the gold standard of science, analyzed 78 studies with almost 300,000 people. The conclusion was an earthquake. Vitamin E supplements do not decrease mortality. Worse, it can increase it. To put the final nail in the coffin, the famous select study, selenium, and vitamin E cancer prevention trial had to be stopped early because it found that the group taking vitamin E had a 17 higher risk of developing prostate cancer. So ditch the vitamin E supplement. The risk far outweighs any theoretical benefits. Get your vitamin from a handful of almonds, sunflower seeds, or olive oil, not from a bottle. Supplement number two, vitamin A, danger in excess. Eagle Eye Vision, Ironclad Immunity, another pillar of the multivitamin, often overlooked, but always there. The problem, the story repeats itself, but with a twist. Nature is smarter than we are. In vegetables like carrot, it gives us better carotene. Your body, the orchestra's conductor, takes this better carotene and converts it into active vitamin A only in the amount it needs. It's a fail-safe system. Supplements, they skip that safety step. They give you the already active form, retinol, in high doses. It's like giving the keys to the vault to a rubber. The body has no way to slow down absorption and toxicity. Hypervitaminosis A occurs. It overloads and damages the liver and ironically weakens bones by interfering with vitamin D and stimulating the cells that break down bone tissue. And for smokers and former smokers, it's been linked to an increased risk of lung cancer. The proof? The same Cochrane's analysis that condemned vitamin E also blacklisted isolated vitamin A supplementation for the same reason, an association with an increased all-cause mortality. The bottom line, peel a carrot, eat a mango, make some sweet potato puree. Nature gives you vitamin E in its safest, most intelligent form. Leave the vitamin A peel on the shelf where it belongs. And the number one item, the great imposter, the one I promised, the crown jewel of the longevity industry. It's not a mineral, it's not a vitamin, it's the molecule that promised us the fountain of youth. The secret to the famous French paradox, the magic molecule in red wine that would let us eat cheese and foie gras without having a heart attack. Resveratrol, the myth, the promise was nothing short of immortality. In the 90s and 2000s, a researcher named Deepak Da published spectacular studies showing that resveratrol activated an enzyme called CERT1, the longevity enzyme, and extended life in yeast and other organisms. You know, you heard about it. The media went wild. The supplement industry exploded. Resveratrol became a billion dollar blockbuster. However, it turns out that science, when done right, is self-correcting. And the truth is inconvenient for people who sell pills. Strike one. Years later, the University of Connecticut conducted an investigation and found that Dr. Deepak Da had committed 145 acts of data fabrication and falsification. His studies were retracted. The foundation of the myth was a fraud. Strike two, rigorous, independent studies like those from the US government's investigation testing program tested resveratrol in mammals. The result, no increase in lifespan, zero. Strike three, more recent research using cutting edge technology sold that it doesn't even activate CERT1 directly as was thought. It actually acts as a cellular stressor interfering with your DNA, a much vaguer and less magical mechanism of action. The knockout punch 
the evidence that made me put resveratrol at the top of this list, resveratrol cancels the cardiovascular benefit of your exercise. That's right, a landmark study published in the Journal of Physiology took men doing high intensity interval training, the group that only exercised saw improvements in blood pressure, cholesterol, insulin sensitivity, everything. The group that exercised and took resveratrol, those benefits were completely wiped out. Resveratrol prevented the improvement in endothelial function, the health of your blood vessel walls that exercise causes. Think about that. You wake up early, put your shoes, go to the gym, sweat, push yourself, and then you take an expensive pill that throws all the hard work in the trash. It's the worst investment you can make in your health. So, if you are taking calcium, iron, vitamin E, vitamin A, and the great imposter, resveratrol, be careful. Never again, okay? Today's lesson is clear. The source, the dose, and the context are everything. True longevity doesn't come from a bottle, it comes from a plate. The easy solution of a capsule can be the fastest path to a serious problem. Do what I always talk about in these videos. Get quality sleep, exercise, eat well, get your checkups and have strong friendships and support network. That's what truly improves any heart. My name is Dr. Andre Wambier, I'm a cardiologist and this is Dr. Dre Health Tips. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.